Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you English chapter 1.1 Where the mind is without fear which is wrote by Rabindranath Tagore. Who was Rabindranath Tagore? I am going to introduce Rabindranath Tagore. He was an author of Gitanjali book and it is wrote in fresh and beautiful verse. He became the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 1913. This poem is one of his vastly read and discussed poem. It was originally composed in Bengali and after he himself translated Where the Mind is Without Fear in English. This poem is one of his Nobel Prize winning anthology Gitanjali. First, I have told what is meant by Gitanjali. It is a famous book written by Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore lived during the period when the India when India was ruled by British people. In this pe poem, we are going to learn besides political freedom from British, Tagore also appeals for God for social, educational, and economic freedom for the people of India. Now I am going to start the poem. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Means where our mind is without fear and our head is held high without fear we can stand by ourselves. Where knowledge is free. Where knowledge is totally free there is no money for knowledge of free knowledge. Where the world has not been broken up into the fragment. Where the world has not been broken up into the fragments. Fragments means small pieces by narrow domestic walls. Narrow domestic walls means division on the basis of religion, caste and color in societies and between countries of the world. Some countries are thinking that see the colors of that boy, that girl, how black he is and she is, how black, how white they are, how black they are. They are thinking about their skin colors and they are thinking about caste, religion and basis on that. They are fighting between caste and religion, see your caste and etc. Where words come out from depth of truth. Where this all narrow domestic walls word religious, caste, skin color and etc. which is coming from depth of truth of of the narrow domestic walls where tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection tireless striving means continuous efforts and hard work stretches its arm means aim to achieving goal poet is saying where tireless striving stretch, stretches its arm means towards perfection towards their goal their stretches its arm where the clear stream of reason has lost its way. Stream means a small narrow river lost its way. Where the clear a narrow river lost its way into dreary desert sand of dead habit. Dreary means repetitive sand of dead habits mean, dead habits mean old tradition, rituals and customs. Where the mind is led forward by T. Where the mind is led forward by T means old English means you into ever widening thought and action. Thought and action means the thought we are, which we are thinking and ever widening means one's outlook. Into one's outlook means one's outlook of thought and action. Into that heaven of freedom. Heaven of freedom means condition of total freedom. Good words, good thought. It means heaven of freedom. My father let my country awake. Into good words and good things, good speaking, let our country awake.